So over here, you can see that I have storyboard file and what I can do is I can start drawing out over here. So uh, you can see that I, ha I am drawing in one single panel now. And if you want to draw in more panel, then you can go around and click on this button to create a new panel and then draw ahead, draw out another storyboard right here. Similarly, you can go around and then draw around another storyboard right here and so forth. But uh, the problem with this is all is in a thumbnail view. So if you want to produce out an animatic video, then what happens is that you don't know the exact timing right here. And to have more control over the timing, you may want to switch on to a different view. And that is a timeline view instead of a thumbnail view, uh, just like this. So to change out the view on the top, you can see there's various options right here. So by default, you're on this. That is in drawing workspace in thumbnail view. So if I were to click on timeline workspace, then what happens is that the workspace realigns itself as thumbnails, as you can see right here. So you can see the timeline at the bottom, which you can zoom in and out over here. And you can see that individual uh, frames are now arranged out in a timeline. And you can see that there's a scrubber right here. And this um, storyboard panel right here, this is 18 seconds. So I can go around and then resize this out to change around the timing for that particular storyboard according to how you like. You can rearrange and readjust this out right here. Put the storyboard, let's say, for example, in the beginning right here and then pull this out. And you can see that now what happens is that this has different timeline right here. You can simply drag this around over here as well and readjust it out. And if I were to go around over here in the beginning and press the play button, you can see that it actually plays around this according to a certain timeline right here. So similarly, you can go around and uh, see different views over here as well. So there's the drawing workspace right here. And this is the timeline workspace. You can go around onto the thumbnail view over here as well. So you can go around onto the different thumbnail views. So you only see out the thumbnails as you can see right here. And you don't see the main drawing area. You can go around over here and go towards the horizontal workspace view where you can add in details as well. So you can add in details to the storyboard right beneath as you can see right here. Or if you want it sideways, you can click on this view right here and then it'll show up sideways just like this. Similarly, you can go around and go for pitch mode as well. So if you are trying to uh, pitch this to someone else, then you might want to use this mode over here, just like this. So now you are on a full screen mode, so you can go around over here and here you can exit out the pitch mode by clicking on that button. And what happens is that it goes back to the previous view. Similarly, there is uh, other views right here, like there's the, uh, uh, let's say for example, uh, there's the PDF view workspace. And this is how it would exactly show up in a PDF document if you were to use this. So if you were to go around over here onto the other view, and this is 3D view as well if you want to work in a 3D workspace right here as you can see. So that is how you can change out um, the views inside of Storyboard Pro according to how you like it. So let's say you're from default thumbnail view to timeline view and so forth inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.